Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time and I'm here for another video to go in my upcycling slash recycling playlist and this is the one on how to recycle cotton sheets. Now I did do the video on flannel, I did do the video on t-shirts and so I'm not going to be talking so much about flannel sheets though I use flannel sheets a lot whether it be I buy them used or brand new and a lot of the things that I use regular cotton sheets for I'll use flannel sheets for as well but when it comes to your standard cotton sheets there's other things that I prefer using them for that I wouldn't use the flannel for and vice versa so if you're curious of what I like to use t-shirt fabric for and flannel fabrics for then I will link to that full playlist down below so you can see my previous videos that are in there and there's more in there than just those I also have the one on recycling jeans and also recycling bottles and jars okay so let's get to it so the very first thing I ever started using garage sale find sheets for was to make curtains we used to have this uh, I don't even know if I have pictures of it but we used to have many years ago when the kids were little a custom conversion van that we had bought used and it was a pretty good deal considering it was just a really nice comfortable van it came with an old nintendo tv and vcr that's how old it was but it was perfect for long trips since the back seat could also be made into a bed and when we had when we first started camping out and we had we started with a just a tent and then we upgraded to a used very small camp trailer it was nice having the van because the kids could sleep in there and so we would make the back into a bed well i didn't like the fact even though there was blinds that you could pull down over all the back windows there was still that front window and there was nothing to cover it and so i bought one of those extension rods that you could adjust and had the nice tight spring in it and then had taken some old sheets old white cotton sheets i had found at a garage sale and dyed them a green shade to match the interior of the van because it had it was green and then hung those up there and so that worked out perfect we could pull them open when they were traveling and then just slide them shut for privacy when the kids were camping out in the back or even if it was us camping out in the back because there was one time where before we got the trailer where we went camping with family and it was a horribly rainy weekend it was terrible and we're and we by the time we got there it was late and it was too late to set up the tent and too wet so we just we just slept in the in the van and it worked out perfect to have those curtains so from there i started making using recycled sheets to make other curtains for all over the house i made curtains to go over our back door we have the window because when i still my business here it was nice having the window and the door so parents we know before they walk in they could look in the window and see if there was any kids waiting out there right on the other side of the door and so they don't you know bowl them over and it was also nice to be able to see people out the door but when i want privacy i can close those so i used those ones i used brand new sheets to do because at the time i didn't have any old sheets so i went down the store and bought real some really cheap brand new sheets in the color i wanted to go out there and so i've done this quite a bit and i i've used sheets new and old to make all kinds of different curtains and it was cheaper than buying fabric by the yard when I needed curtains for in here. So initially in here in front of my, on the other side of my sewing machine, I had some dark red sheets to match the red, you know, cause this, there's a lot of red and green in this room. But then I had found at a garage sale years later, some heavier curtains that I could use in the living room. Well, I had enough of them. There was enough panels that I could put some in here. And there are times with the particular, the microfiber sheets don't make the best curtains because when it's dark outside and light inside and you have the curtains shut, you can still see through those curtains. So those aren't recommended for curtains, I learned. But cotton is. So when you're using any kind of cotton like this, this is going to make a great curtain because it's very, it's dark. It's a lot thicker. It's not that thin micro fiber that you can see through you don't realize it till you hold it up to light but sheets like this are gonna uh, they might let some light in but they're gonna create far more privacy so that's when even the the cot the white cotton sheets i'd found and dyed make 
good privacy curtains. But actually, one of the main reasons I bought all those sheets, it, what happened was, is somebody local was doing a garage sale, and I believe they must have been owners of a one of the local hotels, and they had piles and piles and piles of plain white sheets that were selling. They were cotton, and they were perfect because I was always needing fabric for making costumes for my dance shows. And when, you know, I would buy a lot of fabrics. There were certain specialty fabrics I would need for certain types of costumes. But when I wanted something that was plain and just very simple, I just wanted plain white cotton. And then that way, if I needed to make it a different color, I could dye them any color I wanted. So at one point we were doing some songs from Sound of Music. And one of the ones we did was a lonely goat herd. And so I dressed the class up like little goats. So I didn't even need to dye the fabric for those. I wanted them white anyway. So I just made some simple white jumpsuits and little hoods with ears. And I had a herd of goats out there. And then my son was in it. My oldest son was in it at the time. And so I put little horns on him. So that was fun. I also dyed them and made like corn costumes for when we did the Wizard of Oz. And we had, you know, they had the field of corn where the scarecrow was. And then also other, I just made some plain, very basic shirts of different colors that I could use for the seven dwarfs when we did a song from uh, Snow White and also just a basic townspeople costumes for various different shows where we just needed townspeople and I just wanted something very simple and not fancy and that worked out really good. Then I moved on to actually using sheets to make clothes for myself and that includes making skirts. So here's an example right here. This skirt isn't put together. It's one that I have laid out. So I've got you know, the clothespins stand, are, represent each tier. So this is the top tier, second tier, third tier, and then I got the fourth tier. Well, quite a bit of the fabrics in this particular skirt is made from recycled sheets. Now, that, like this one here and this one, this peach color, this was actually made from brand new sheets. I bought a couple sets of these, one in a blue, and this is kind of a mint. And I've used this a lot in various different skirts. So I actually bought the sheets intentionally brand new so that I could use them for making aprons and skirts. So aprons is another thing, but I prefer the flannel for the aprons. And this is actually a brand new fabric, but, and I think this is a new fabric, but here's another one, another, this light peach that was also an old recycled sheet that we found at garage sales. And one of my very favorite skirts that I like to wear this time of the year because it's in lighter colors is this one right here that's shown in this picture. All of the fabrics in there, all made from recycled sheets, curtains, and even a scarf. All things that I found at garage sales. And they're my, it's one of my very favorite skirts. And so you can take cotton sheets and make a nice lightweight skirt, patchwork skirt, whether it be a three tier or four tier. And that's a great thing about the cotton, just the plain cotton sheets, is it's typically going to be a very lightweight fabric. So if you're doing something like a four tier, very full skirt, that's going to keep the skirt lighter weight. So the fuller the skirt is, the lighter weight fabric you want to use in there. I'm wearing this apron. This was the brown in this, I believe, was made from a recycled garage sale fine sheet, just like the skirt that I had made, but this would have been from a different sheet. And then this, this patch right here was made from one of my kids' flannel shirts from when they were real little and grew out of it. And this was also from a flannel sheet, but one that I had bought brand new for making skirts and such. In fact, I made it myself a whole skirt just out of that. Well, this was one of the very first aprons I made for myself. And I've worn it so many times that I've worn holes in it. It was starting to get tattered at the top. So even though this isn't sheet material, you could do that with this. As I, I just had some scraps of cotton and I redid the top and I, I added some more patches where I was getting holes right over the top and some colors that I thought would look good with this. So, and I've got more patches on it too here and there because I've, I've worn this one so much. But uh, also this, by the way, the, the ruffle on this and what was originally up here at one time is actually not a sheet, but made from a bed skirt from an old bed set that we had. So that's what this ruffle came from. And then a lot of you, anyone who's been following me for any length of time will also know that one of the things I like to use old 
just plain cotton sheets for is making covers for my dehydrator. So I've got the round ones for my electric dehydrator and then I have square ones that I use on my off-grid dehydrator that we use whenever we have a fire going. I don't use it on there when I'm drying things on top of the wood stove, but when I'm drying things next to the wood stove, especially because that will take longer. So usually herbs, anything that's more delicate, I'll dry next to the wood stove. And then I'll use the cotton covers on there because even though those, those are stainless steel racks, that will help contain anything. I can do grains on there. I can do whatever I want, anything that's tiny and I don't have to worry about it falling through. And then on plastic trays like this, not only is it good for that, keeping everything contained, it also helps prevent so much plastic exposure to my food by having this in here. And as I've mentioned before, I found that using the cotton, I thought maybe it would slow down the drying process. It actually seems to speed it up. So believe it or not, and I, I figure my hypothesis is that the cotton actually helps absorb some of the moisture, pull some of the moisture out of the things that you're drying. And then the cotton itself dries very fast. Just think, cotton sheets always dry very quickly. And then other things, of course, that you can use any kind of recycled cotton, whether it be recycling sheets or anything else that would be things like jar covers for when you're making your vinegars because when you're making vinegars that's the one ferment that i prefer to keep open because it needs as much oxygen exposure as possible to get a good and quick ferment so once the sugar is converted into alcohol it can quickly then be converted into vinegar and then some other things would be making pot holders. So a lot of people mention making pot holders. Now I didn't make these particular ones. I can make my own easily enough. I had only purchased these because I thought they were cute, but they were also because they were part of a local auction. We do like to help out some local things that go on in through auctions when i see something even if it's something i can make myself i've bought aprons this way before too so i don't mind buying somebody else's handmade items if it's to help support a good cause so anyway that's where i got these and because i just thought they were cute i love the colors but anyway you could do the same idea and i have mentioned before in my last video making little drawstring bags i've done this with recycled sheets where i've made little reusable tea bags because there were cotton and I wanted cotton. I definitely didn't want any unnatural fabric going in my tea. So the reason I started making the tea bags is because I couldn't find a basket or a ball that was big enough to make a whole pot. I actually even did a video on that and I think I did a video on making these as well and cotton sheets are great for this but any kind of lightweight cotton rip it into thin strips and then use it as a yarn for crocheting baskets it works great for that i even have a video on that so i'll go ahead and link to that video down below on how I, you can make baskets of any size whether it be little tiny ones like i did in the video just so i could make it quicker or bigger ones i've done three different sizes so far and i just do it however big i want it to be so that's another thing you can also do the rag rug idea it, it kind of falls along the same idea as how you would do the basket as far as how you connect your pieces together so there's a few ideas for you so what i as you know what i expect from everyone else go ahead and put your ideas and suggestions and things that you've made down below so Others can read that and get some more ideas of the best way to recycle things. Because remember, we're at that point where now more than ever, we need to start learning how to make the most of what we have. So please share your ideas down below. Don't forget to read through those comments. And also don't forget to go down to the description box to find all the links to videos and other things that we always put in there. And I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're enjoying this series. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.